what is up guys it's so bash we are back again with some more mobile legends and we are going to get a new legend today uh we're gonna look at jewel and you can find jewel in the shop under legends right there for 439 crystals or 13,500 arena tokens i wouldn't recommend using the arena tokens for it the the crystals just come so fast when you're leveling up to begin with so if you want it you can get it there or if you do not want to pay any crystals at all go to adventure mode go to the elite section and on one five pretty woman you can get these shards for jewel so you really don't have to pay for it at all uh doing these over one week you could probably get all of them uh, i've done some today i got two of them i have a total of three shards but i'm impatient so i'm just gonna buy her so let's go ahead and go in here to the shop go to legends grab jewel and we're gonna purchase her and that is jewel now jewel is really really good now for one there's a couple things that matter and why she is good we're gonna take it to a hard 3v3 versus the ai bring out jewel uh let's find her there she is right there and perk well let's run with a uh, teleport on her that's what I run with most of the time. But skills, Wave of Light, releases a Wave of Light, which deals physical damage and stuns single target. Lunar Blade, normal damage reflects onto nearby enemies, dealing damage and weakening targets. That's what's really good. Lunar Ray, increases base attack of all ally legends and minions within given radius. And Moonbeam, summons 12 Moonbeams to attack nearby enemies. Each target can be hit up to four times. Now the four times, I know that's a lie because I've been killed by Jewel I can't tell you how many times by all 12 moonbeams from that so i know that will hit you more than four times and she will murk you she is really good 1v1 and when she comes into a crowd she can wreck people and i'm going to show you why all right so we have dread maxim we got two tanky people that's surprising okay so first let's go with uh the wave of light which uh releases that and it stuns the target for 0.15 seconds now 0.15 seconds no that's not a very long time but is annoying as crap when you're trying to cast something on another legend and she interrupts you so she's really good for interruption basically she's probably one of the best adcs in the game now we're gonna wait on that and we're gonna go with the lunar blade normal attacks reflect on the nearby enemies dealing damage and weakening targets by 35 percent that's gonna level up as we go but the good thing about that is when it bounces, if you have life steal, it's going to be more life steal for you because it's hitting multiple targets. That's the good thing about Jewel. So life steal is really OP on her. And you've seen the wave there, it stunned him for just a second, and he really wasn't able to do a whole lot. Uh, are we gonna be able to push tower early? We are able to push tower early. Now we're gonna go with the recommended build, which has life steal in it. Now that's no surprise at all. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, well, I didn't get to interrupt him. I'm not sure how I got caught off in that. We were a good ways away from him. But let's get leveled up. Actually, let's go bottom. I see Duke down here and he's not really doing anything uh, but killing minions and trying to kill the tower. So we're gonna swoop in. And how you doing, Duke? You're not gonna get to my tower. Sorry, buddy, we're not gonna do this again. Last time, we didn't have much luck with the towers, but hey, we're gonna hold them off now. If you stay in, you're gonna die. What are you, what are you doing? You better run. Here's that stun. That's where that stun comes in handy because it slows him down. But we're out of mana. Now we got the ulti. The ulti is the game changer, especially early games. You get hit with that ulti and it's all focused on you, you're done for. Almost a positive 100% chance of being done for if you just get hit with the other attacks as well. Now Moonbeam, uh, it's got a decent range on it. I mean, Wave of Light and the cooldown is only four seconds. So that is one of the most annoying things. Also with Jewel, I do recommend killing all minions before you want to use your ulti if it'll actually target minions there we go and now you just go in and stun i'm not gonna waste it on tusker he's got a lot of health i'm gonna get more reflect on that i'm gonna wait till i can catch one of them off guard and then i'm gonna use it all right he's pretty low we're gonna go ahead and use it 
You see all the damage it can do? All right, we got movement speed. I'm really low, so we're gonna go back. All right, we're back in. Looks like everybody's still top. Um, it looks like one's missing on the map. I'm not sure where he is at. But let's see if we can get in here and actually do some damage. It's way in Tusker up here. And looks like there he is. He popped up finally. He's down bottom. Let's go get him. We're already down. Oh, that changed just in time. Power. All right, he's shifting. He's shifting. What is he doing? All right, that's on the tower. We're going to go ahead and ulti him, stun him. See how much damage that did? That's Duke. Now, Duke has a crap ton of hit points. He's got a lot of life for a caster. And that is one thing that surprises me as much damage as she can do. Let's target him, stun him. And she just melted over half of his hit points and it's only tier one. It's only tier one. That stun comes in handy. Stun him again. That's good. No, that didn't let him get caught. If we don't be careful, we're gonna get caught. We're really low health. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport out and go back. All right, now early game like this with them trying to push all three on one lane, I'm not sure why the AI is really trying to do that. So I'm gonna go bottom and see if I can't take care of this. Uh, they just got a kill up top just a second ago, so I'm going to let them just try to continue to do that. Now, looking at the recommended build, so far we've got the Chaos Claw, we've got your boots for movement speed, and he is just ruthless in here today. Uh, and you've got the Spindle, which is for critical hits. 1.7 times critical hits. When you max it out, I believe it is at uh, 2.5. So that can increase your damage quite a bit. All right, we got a uh, regen up right here. What is he doing caught behind? Look at this. What in the world? Will they, will they tr get him? All right, that stun got him. They're tower diving. All right, we gotta get out. Wow, we have no hit points. Run, run. Oh, really? Out of all that, I got targeted. And at that range. Okay, so they took a tower within about five minutes, but looks like one of them got caught right there. Way you're about to get caught up. Ult it's going off, wrecked. And it just destroys minions as well. All right, Phoenix Blade is the fourth item. And let's go ahead and level up. Why not level up the ulti again? Sure. All right, let's get a push going on this tower. Here he comes. Gonna go ahead and stun him. Get it hit in and get out. And let's see if we can't get this stuff to bounce around. It's only him now. Stun him again. So he's hitting me just as much as I'm hitting him. He's got a little bit more range on me, it looks like. But we've got this ulti on him. We got 10 seconds before it does come up. And if he stays too close, we're gonna get him with it. All right. And I'm gonna chance it, teleport in on him and ulti him. That's what is so OP about Jewel. You can just blindside somebody and wreck them for half their health, if not more, that fast. Now they're still holding back on the tower. Uh, I can't really hear the sound alerts from it because I don't record the in-game audio when I'm playing. Uh, Magnificent Bow is the fifth item. We're gonna take this tower though, and I'm gonna go up here and go ahead and go back. Actually, let's just run through because I know the buff's gonna be up. It is a regen, and we can kill stuff on the way there. All right, let's go ahead and level that to max. And here we go. Let's see if we can't catch somebody. We got nine seconds until it's up again. We're gonna catch Tusker with it, watch. Or right, he's gonna die before we even get there. He's gonna die, yeah. Okay, he died before we even got there to it. Stun way and ulti, done. Jewel is freaking OP. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. They do come out with it every now and then. The last item being the Soul Cutlass 45 physical attack. Now that is a lot of attack. Being a caster, I still haven't figured out, you know, physical uh, attack and magic attack for some of these because they don't really play together. Uh, some of them seem like they just uh, do more damage regardless. And let's go ahead and get away from him. That way we can kite him a little bit. Now, I would recommend going a lot differently. We're gonna get stunned here. 
We really don't have an out, but he's gonna run as well. So let's swoop down. Let's uh let's look at killing some stuff like there we go. Go ahead and kill this. Stun it. And just look how much regular attack damage we're doing. Now the crits are helping. That's from the uh, spindle. And we've got a speed buff here. And then took another tower back here. But let's go ahead and take Duke down. See, that's what happens when you use your ulti around minions. You don't get the kill and it attacks other things. All right, more physical attack. Here we go. Uh, let's go swoop down. We're doing pretty decent. We got nine kills. They got four and looks like we're about even on towers as well because they've been pushing towers on top and bottom. I'm going to sweep back here and pick up these minions before they do make it up to the tower. That way we can get a little bit more push on the bottom. Now it's 2v2. I'm not sure what the third is, but I'm going to swing through. They got Maxim. That's not good. All right, let's see if we can't... Uh, Surprise attack one of them. Now I'm going to get this buff. There's both of them right there. Now, only two seconds left till the ulti's up. Way, you just messed up. Watch how much power that does. Like two shots of it and he died. That's how overpowered this character is. And I'm saying that because you're seeing it. Literally, how overpowered do you think that is to be able to two shot somebody with an ultimate? I mean, I don't really know of any other ultimate that does that much damage from a single character. Um, Roland, maybe, but it's more spread out. Uh, Dread, his ultimate is just a revive. And, I mean, there's nothing really else to compare it with. It just does that much damage. Maxim's up top going ham. We're going to go with Duke again. What you got, Duke? All right, we should have backup from Maxim right there. There's Dread. Get him with a stun. I'm going to slow him down. All right, we got to get out don't have the mana to fight that and if they catch me it's not going to be good duke's really fast so i'm just going to teleport away from me dread i'm not sure what you're doing so let's go back all right see we've got the full build on the recommended so we're going to upgrade the soul cutlass just for the fact of it's more damage all right and that is a lot of people see her range isn't very far but watch there goes all the minions and duke Wade got him trapped and stun him again. Let's go ahead and get back a little bit. I know they're wanting a tower dive. Let's go ahead and stun him. He gets caught up. We got Maxim. Maxim's pretty good at chasing people down. He does a lot of damage and it's really hard to get away from Jewel. That's how hard it is to get away from him because that stun, that's only 1.5 seconds, but it stops you dead in your tracks and you cannot move. That's why it's so good. We done run back into him again. So, let's stun him. Regen some health from that life steal. And let's see if we can't find where he went. He's bottom by himself. He's fisting to die. I'm going to kill this stuff right here. Gives me a little bit of life. 604 crit from a normal attack. That's crazy. All right, he's swooping top trying to come in on these guys. But he's going to die. All right, we got him. Tusker, where you going, buddy? Get back here, Tusker. Not going to get away. Stun him. And he's dead. Nice. All right, so for the next one, let's go with uh, the crit. That's a 20% chance to two times critical hit instead of 1.75. And let's go ahead and go back and get full mana and health, and we will finish this match off. All right, we got called out. Uh, I was just going to run away, and notice we got Duke down here messing with my tower. Duke, you better run. I'm going to mess you up. And he didn't want to run. We also got Maxim here, so it is GG for him. Stun him. And come on. Nice. All right, 17 to 6. Now, I do have to say, this has been the fastest AI match that I've been able to do while recording this stuff. I usually do this all in one take. It, there's really no cuts to it. And let's see, we only need three kills. So let's go ahead and ulti both of these. It just about killed Way. We got him stuck. Are we going to be able to catch him? I don't have anything. He's probably got teleports as well. I know he does. And we got Duke on our tail now. And let's grab this power buff and let's duke it out. Let's see who's got the better build. 
Uh, he's just destroying Duke. Look at that. Just destroying Duke. This is late game, level 16, but we've only got, what, a couple pieces of tier 2? And we only need, what, one more kill? So let's go get it. Way, you're the next contestant on. You're gonna die for us to win this match. And I do have to say, Jewel is really freaking OP. I do recommend you guys buying this legend because I have never completed an AI match that fast. And Jewel did it 13 and 1 with 5 assists, 25,842 gold. I didn't even try to farm gold really. I just, every time I'd go through, if I'd catch some, I'd catch it. If I didn't, I didn't. But guys, that's Jewel. That's the recommended build. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.